Hi, Scott Poley here with a review demo of the Source Audio Collider, Delay and Reverb pedal. Let's check out some of this pedal's features. The Collider uses two independent 56-bit signal processors, the same ones used on Source Audio's brilliant Nemesis Delay and Ventress Dual Reverb pedals. These are combined in a compact housing with massive power yet simple controls. The pedal offers a range of sounds, including realistic reproductions of vintage analog tape delays, oil can delays, spring and plate reverbs, natural replications of large and small acoustic spaces, and a selection of delays and reverbs including reverse and shimmer. The pedal itself is powered by a 9-volt Boss-style power supply center negative. The unit has stereo inputs and outputs, two foot switches, one for delay which doubles as a tap tempo, and the reverb which also doubles as the hold or freeze switch. There is an expression jack, up to 8 onboard memory presets, and up to 128 when using MIDI. There is a USB port for connecting to Source Audio's Neuro app for desktop and mobile devices. The app offers extra facilities for routing and the ability to use two reverbs and two delays together. In order to show just how versatile this pedal is, the following track features the Source Audio Collider on every instrument. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you at the end for my thoughts. So, the Source Audio Collider, what a pedal this is. I've owned it for about six months or so now, it lives on my pedal steel board where I use it to go from say, traditional country sound with spring reverb and tape delay to a more modern atmospheric sound and I can do that at the flick of a switch and save presets. It's really easy as well to edit on the fly. In terms of tones, the pedal really has everything you need and it's really easy to make new sounds as well and we're either with the app or just on the pedal, all the features are available from the controls on the pedal. In terms of value for money, this isn't a cheap pedal. Here in the UK it retails for over £300, but in terms of quality you really can't beat this. It's up there with the Eventides and Strymons of the world and I'd just recommend it to anyone who's interested in a small footprint delay and reverb pedal. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know as well if there's anything you'd like me to review or demo. I've been Scott Poley, thanks ever so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please do, it'd be a great support. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you for another demo soon.